A couple weeks ago, I had a vision of heaven. And the vision was like this. I stood in a desert and there was an iron gate in front of me. And there were people standing in front of the gate and those were the servants of Jesus. You couldn't see it, that they were it, but I knew it. You know those dreams that you have and you just know that something is true, but you don't know why you know it's true? It's exactly like that. So I knew that those were the servants of Jesus. And they opened the door to heaven for me. And I saw a city made of sand. Small little buildings made of sand, of solid sand. And the buildings didn't have doors. They had the door frames, but they didn't have doors. So there was no door you couldn't walk into. You could go everywhere. So there was eternal freedom. There was no one working and there was no one around in the city. So there was just me and the servants of Jesus. And when I went into a house, there was a throne made of sand and on it with a crown on his head and a white and red robe there sat Jesus and he had his hands like this and I couldn't put my hands in his hands I think that's what happens uh, when I die then I think I will be able to put my hands in his and be with him forever but in that time I could just see that image of Jesus putting his hands forward reaching for me and then the vision stopped and I, I could have cried. I honestly could have cried. Such a beautiful moment, really. What I realized when I thought about making this video was that I didn't like sand. I didn't like the desert. In fact, I have never been in a desert, so I technically don't even know how that looks. But still, my heaven, or the heaven that I saw, was in a desert. I liked the forest way more. I would have loved to tell you. Yeah, I, I walked in the forest in my vision and then I saw Jesus standing there. But I was in the desert, a thing I don't like. I even have negative associations with the, with the, with the desert because I think I might, I might be thirsty and die because, because, of, because of being too thirsty, right? I might die because I, because I don't have water. But what taught me this was that even in a bad situation, even in something that you don't want to be like that, even in a situation that you would have liked to have different, I would have loved to have my heaven here in the forest, but apparently it's in the desert. And that teaches me that the thing that matters and the thing that makes the difference between heaven and hell isn't where you are or how you are, or how you feel. It is this and this. It's your heart and your mind. And it's the state of mind you have when looking at something. Something in my heart told me when those guys opened the door for me, this is heaven. And this is why I went in there with this mindset, okay, this is heaven. And it's the difference that is in your mind, not in your body or in your eyes. It's your mind that makes the difference. And this is why on this channel, I teach the, the, the self-improvement way that made me have visions like this. That made me come from where I've come, which is a genuinely bad place, to where I am right now. Where I have visions of Jesus putting his hands out to reach for me. This is what I teach on this channel. I don't know what else I can say to convince you to subscribe to my channel and to leave a, a comment of maybe a, a, a vision of heaven that you had. Maybe you had a vision like this. Go write it down in the comments to teach every single man who went into this video, who wanted to disprove that there is heaven, who wants to say, oh, heaven isn't real, heaven isn't real. Oh, here's a video on a, on a guy telling me some lie about, about heaven. Tell your story of heaven in the comments below. Have a nice day. 
And hopefully you will have a vision like this in the future if you didn't have one yet. Master your mind.